Arizona's unemployment rate went up last month, but it is not all bad news. The state also gained thousands of new jobs. Emma Lockhart spoke with an expert who says the latest numbers show the signs the state's economy is recovering, but there are also, Emma, some warning signs ahead. Well, the good news, the state gained more than 30,000 jobs last month compared to August. One expert I spoke with says that's because some industries are starting to rebound while others are feeling the impacts of the pandemic still. After the pandemic happened, everybody got hit. Stephanie Zeman, like so many others, is struggling to find work. Financially, companies can't afford their own employees. The 33 year old says she was laid off from her job in retail back in April. Six months later, Zeman says she still doesn't have a job, barely getting by on unemployment. I have so much anxiety. I'm just like, because I'm running down, okay, I can afford this much food and I can afford this much dog food and cat food and I can drink water. I should be fine for at least seven days. The unemployment rate rose from 5.9% in August to 6.7% in September. That's according to the Office of Economic Recovery. But one expert says there are signs Arizona is making progress. At the very height of the pandemic is when you saw a real spike in unemployment across all sectors. As the pandemic progressed, though, we started to get many of those jobs back. Taylor says some industries are recovering quicker than others and bringing more jobs back to the state. And there are certain industries like tourism and hospitality that will continue to experience um, real lagging growth. Meantime, people like Zeman are hopeful things will turn around. My hope is that things change soon, very soon, because we had to do something. Taylor says help from the federal government is needed to help businesses put people back to work, but Congress still can't come to an agreement on a stimulus deal. Guys, back to you.